Hey guys, so I'm supposed to be here doing a little staycation and I even said I don't want to cook. <sighs> but when you're married to a bodybuilder, you find that you end up cooking a lot and I feel like even when you buy food, it's never quite right. We had a lovely lunch, but I decided I'm going to make him dinner. So I'm going to do some eggs and some broccoli and I've got some lamb that I prepped and brought down here. You know, people really don't understand. If you can't cook, you don't want a muscle man. Hero may I tell you? <laughs> it is just enough food. You have to think about food all day long. Then with my kids, I think about food all day long. But now, in this little moment where I'm here in a new environment and I'm just by myself making a very, very simple little dish, it's actually therapeutic for me. And that just goes to show that, like, you just love things, but sometimes it'd be too much. I still love it, though. And uh, it's a privilege to be able to do something that you love in a no-pressure situation. Sometimes the pressure is what kills the love. So I thought that I wanted to come on vacation and not cook, but actually, I'm not sure if that's what I wanted. I just wanted to cook with no pressure. So I had almost 30 eggs. I cut the two crates so that the eggs could fit into the little fridge. I'm gonna get one more and add to this bowl. I'm gonna do the eggs and the broccoli and then I'm gonna have the lamb. I'll show you when it's finished. Simple little food, but people like to see my business. I don't know what to tell you. Anyhow. So I've got my mushrooms now. I forgot that I have bought some little baby bella mushrooms from Massey. no matter what so I bought uh, also I'm lactose intolerant so I can't have the normal butter so I bought this sunflower uh, butter I'm going to be using this to um, I, would, I would say almost um, what am I talking about sorry I'll be using this to fry my egg and then I'm going to do a little pot here simmering for the broccoli but now I'm feeling as though I am going to turn off this pot. I'm going to do the broccoli and the mushroom in this pot with a little, little bit of the sunflower, some water, and some salt. I had to buy salt, but they have the little shaker, so you can put your salt in there. And then I'm going to do the egg after. So let's go. So for this, I turned on the stove, and I can see it's not hot yet because the butter is melting. Again, there, it's not hot yet. But I'm also gonna put a little bit of water because I'm not trying to saute the broccoli and the mushroom. I'm gonna keep them soft, but I'm gonna flavor them with the sunflower. So let's go. Oh, Lordy, though, what all things are so adorable and accustomed to this, I will be done cook already. My there is melting. Melting slowly. Like the witch plant Snow White, I don't understand what's going on. Alright, we got three eggs here, and as I said, my broccoli and my mushroom. And I'm just gonna take some salt here. I like to keep the place immaculate, you know. So I don't wash my cutting board already. I know, I'm just using my butter spoon to just stir that up a bit. And I just said when these are done, I'm going to make the eggs. Forgive me, I'm doing it with one hand to show you, so no judgment, right? I'm just going to cook this gently. I wanted to cook it over a low heat anyway, but... Um, you can take them all to get warm. That's why I prefer fire, but I can see why the people don't want fire in their hotel. You know? I get it. So I'm just going to let that cook on. When that's done, I'm going to toss all that into a bowl, and then I'm going to do my, um, my eggs. 
thing about water and barbados is you can drink the water i was planning to buy water then i forgot i have some um, purify water that i brought from home but the thing is i'm here doing nothing so i'm gonna boil a bit of water just leave it there let it cool down and i'll put that in the fridge and i'll make my ice with that i made some ice already with just hot water but i didn't like the taste of the ice so I'll make my ice with that and I can also use that boiled water if I need to get any water while I'm up here. I just want to get the broccoli to be a little bit brighter. It's coming along. It's still got a bit of dull bits right there. Let's get a brighter green and it cook a bit more. Meanwhile, I'll get my bowl ready for it. Here is where we have our little stash. Some of these groceries, I didn't even buy them for now. I just forgot to buy them before. So I was like, oh, I want my little furry children. Let me buy you my little now. So I bought it and I carry it home. I have a couple shopping bags here. Now the chef and me is saying, what can I do to elevate these veg, right? So what I can actually do, right? I'm gonna throw a little tip of this whole label whiskey in a wasting. I can't do it with one hand, but I can show a little tip of this in there. Our Asian dishes have um, um, wine in them, Chinese wine. So just add a little tip of that for the flavor. John Walker bowl. Yeah, we do, we do. Getting turned. <laughs> Not me, I can't turn it in, I'm kidding. I drink two drinks and that's it. I don't really go beyond the tree. I'm trying to get drunk ever. I'm trying to wait for the next day and feel good and take care of my children. Alright, so just getting rid of that little piece of broccoli on that thing. So it's basically done. Tasting really good. I got some little ginger ale. I got no ginger, but I bet you could probably throw a little ginger ale in there and get a little ginger flavor to go along with the little whiskey, which is giving it that same Chinese kind of wine vibe. Good stuff. Alright. So this, I didn't cut them properly. They don't have a chef knife in here. They just got some random knives. But they're good enough for what in here is. Again, the liquid out now. The mushroom's going to spring a lot of liquid though. Mm-hmm. Cook and taste now. If you don't like it, it's because you don't like mushrooms, not because anything wrong with it, even though it's so simple. Look at the ingredients. Salt, a little sunflower butter, and a tip of whiskey. That's it. Low water. So family, let me talk about how Massey store got this little sunflower that was used to be for four dollars for eight something what the actual bird this is not even butter what a, you know roberts is, is manufacturing is here in barbados i mean they've been making money these people just never be willing to take a little small loss to help people anyhow the butter melting and i'm waiting to do the egg a lot easier with a fork but right in a cow here I got my piece of lamb there one day. So when you come back, you got food. As usual.
you feel so confident. Sometimes you feel like you don't even know who you are. You just know what has happened to you and how life has been. You know, you know, am I supposed to rush all the time or am I just under pressure too much, you know? That affects how I think about food as well. Efficiency and speed is so important to me. But everything doesn't have to be about speed, eh? I just say, uh, I get on the gentle, and it's not that gentle actually, it's starting to, it's just like thing that's that long to heat up. Alright, you ready yet, you ain't ready yet. With Japan. Simple and sweet. I had a black pepper, I had a thing. But you know what? I feel like this veg is fire. And then to go back with the little simple egg and the meat, it's gonna be a great dinner. Let's look at the cost. Let's say about four dollars for this plus fifty cent in seasoning, just being generous, so four fifty. Then let's say three eggs, and then so that's like what? 180 all right so that is 6.30 and then we got this let me say this is about five dollars so that's like 11.30 i would say less than 12 dollars to do this and this is far more nutritious a lot of times than what you have to buy when you are out buying food so i hope everybody enjoyed the video and I'll see you later. I'll put up like a little couple, two pictures of me just for who wants to see me, you know?